And um, President Nez, I want to start with you first. Um, let's talk about whether or not the money that is owed to the Navajo Nation ever got there. Joy, thank you for having us on the show. Let me first of all say that yesterday's epidemiology report uh, has 21,697 total tests given to our Navajo citizens here. 8%, a little bit over 8% of our total population have been tested. 3,632 have uh, been positive, and over 50% of those numbers in the IHS are right here on the Navajo Nation. 16,354 are negative, 127 deaths. We also have some, uh, you know, some good news, even though uh, all these numbers are not that great. But recovery, 515 uh, confirmed recoveries here on Navajo Nation. And with what uh, Sean and Core has been doing, it's helping out with some testing here on the Navajo Nation. And the dollars that have uh, finally come in one week ago, it, we waited seven weeks and we had to file a lawsuit against the U.S. Department of Treasury for those dollars to go out to Indian country, 574 tribes. And, you know, with the help of Ali Young and Mark Ruffalo with Protect Us and uh, Sean Penn here, you know, we're utilizing our own resources and the friends of the Navajo Nation to help test and to help get supplies, the needed food and supplies to our Navajo citizens. Yeah. And, you know, Sean, you know, one of the challenges is that there were already disparities in terms of access to health care, meaning in many um, of these in, in parts of Indian country, as it's called, um, there just weren't hospitals. There weren't a lot of hospitals anyway. So how is the resource allocation working to make sure that uh, the the amount of, of hospital availability, the amount of ventilators, et cetera, matches the need? I think the, the first resource we concern ourselves with as an organization is where leadership and citizenry are combined in, in terms of helping themselves and each other. And we found that in extraordinary ways here at the Navajo Reservation where we believe that they're going to be able to do whatever they have to do, whether they get the support that is not a gift. It's a support that we, as, as, a, as a nation through treaties, uh, this is their money. This is their support that, uh, already. So what we, what we are able to do when we work with leaderships like President Nez and with the people of the Navajo Nation who when we, we ride around the reservation uh, from, from chapter to chapter, we see this great respect to social distancing and, and wearing of masks. And I think that's the reason that Navajo Nation is on the recovery. And as you said, though, the resources are very depleted here. And so you know, we, we are hoping that we, and, and, and uh, helping to resource some of that and support and supplement of, uh, under the leadership. And also we have great partners with Jose Andres with World Central Kitchen. We've got uh, Dave Deep and Johns Hopkins University has been here for about 40 years working. Uh, so, so we think we've got a, a you know a good a good team in support of the Navajo uh, and, and with the Navajo to be able to uh, really enhance uh, the testing uh, that, as the president said, already in their will and the, under his leadership, they've done you, you know uh, about seven percent better than the national average. Yeah. Uh, you know, and President Nez, you know, there's been, uh, you know, obviously a, a very tormented history um, of the federal government in the United States not um, keeping promises and, uh, in fact, in many cases, doing more damage than is even imaginable to um, indigenous tribes and native tribes. Um, we've also seen some state governments not be helpful. We see in South Dakota the governor there suing and, and threatening um, the, the tribes there, the Sioux tribes there, saying they have to open up their roads, et cetera. Are you getting the kind of you know, local government um, cooperation that you need? Well, here on the Navajo Nation, we are 27,000 square miles. We have 350,000 Navajos. Half of those live on our Navajo Nation. We are in Arizona, Utah, and New Mexico. And I want to give a thank you to those governors to for them recognizing the inherent sovereignty of the Navajo Nation. And I don't see that happening up there in South Dakota. You know, we need people to be working together, leaders to be working together to help flatten this curve. The other thing that I see that uh, is needed is, uh, also is to 
follow the CDC guidelines. These experts in the healthcare professionals are telling us that we shouldn't be uh, opening up businesses or governments in the region. And I hate for us to lower the numbers here on the Navajo Nation and then you get other spikes in Utah, Arizona, and New Mexico, and then we begin to have a second uh, rise in coronavirus cases. So it is very important, Joy, to let our neighbors know in the border towns that we're all interconnected and we all need to work together to flatten the curve so that we can eradicate uh, coronavirus throughout this country. And lastly, yeah. you know, with the federal government's uh, uh, slowness to give us some resources, you know, we're not asking for handouts, Joy. These are dollars that were intended for U.S. citizens. And we are the first citizens here in the United States of America. And it's quite uh, alarming to see that leaders, tribal leaders, have to wait for the necessary uh, uh, aid to get to their people to help. And I'm looking at these numbers. You know, they always say hindsight is 20-20, Joy. I don't know. If the yeah. money came in seven weeks ago, I wonder how these numbers may have been different or a lot less. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. Well, um, Sean Penn, uh, President Jonathan Nez, thank you both very much. Uh, be safe um, and uh, best of luck with everything that you are doing. And we'll be right back.